between them. The War Twins, Steve and Mark, have accumulated nearly 17,000 test runs and 47 test centuries. The pair have provided the foundation for the Australian batting lineup for more than a decade. Even though their achievements are similar, the two often seem so different. No applied. Nice stroke. This time he's gone for a uh, different players, different styles, and uh, the two wars, Steve and Mark, are wonderful to watch. Doesn't matter which one it is. I would never expect Mark to make me a hundred if I were captain. I would expect Steve to do it, but in their own ways, they have been great cricketers for Australia, and contrasting cricketers, but still absolutely brilliant to watch. In very good form so far this summer. That's a good start. That's a perfect cover drive. It's ball hard into the ground and a race away square the wicket. On the one hand, you've got Steve Waugh, who just seems older to me. I've always thought he, he just seems like the older brother, not the twin. Um, and that sort of, for me, is reflected in the way he plays. He's, um, he's, uh, he's obviously fiercely proud and determined. Um, he, he almost seems as if you know, the baggy green is what he's all about. I mean, it, he really is uh, um, the most incredible captain when it's come to parading the colours of Australia. And that's it. That's 100 for Steve Waugh. His 21st Test Match 100, his first against India, and it makes the complete set against all of Australia's eight opponents in Test Match cricket. He always looked a good cricketer. He was a wonderful timer of the ball and started out, as a, in my view, a very, very good all-rounder. He was the first to bowl the slower ball and variations of it that we hadn't seen. Certainly I hadn't. And so I thought his role in Test cricket was going to be that of an all-rounder. As it turned out, he had some problems with his back, and uh, really, he's now admired for the way he's played with a bat. And they get uh, another single, and that takes Steve Waugh to his 150. He's done that 11 times now. And he's not finished yet. away for another boundary. Boundary's probably coming a bit too quickly here for the West Indies liking. If you want somebody who has got the game figured out mentally and has got himself figured out mentally, then Steve Waugh's your man. If you want somebody who, you know, is going to take on the challenge um, and he's, you know, um, he, he's always there when Australia needs and if Australia gets into trouble, Steve Waugh's there on a pretty regular basis. Sure, he's the man. That's a good start. That's a perfect cover drive. There's the shot he loves. Cracks it away. It was rubbish. I suppose the, the compliment that, uh, that he gets uh, above all else is from the opposition. They want him out. They see him as the man at the end of the day that not only makes runs, but when he's there, brings runs out of others as well. Oh, that's well run. I'm sure the first one went to the right end. 23 test hundreds for Stephen Moore. A magnificent performance. He battled lower leg cramps. He's got an abscess on the tooth. And he still sustained great concentration to get himself to 100. Bad ball and great shot. Beautifully played. Probably the shot of the morning. When I look at Mark Waugh's batting, I see a guy who, after a while, oh, this is a bit, this is pretty easy, this, is, this has become boring. You know, how can I make it more difficult for myself? Oh, why don't I just sort of hit this one from outside off someone and hit it over middle? Oh, 
hang on, I've got out, you know. And, but to me, that's some of the charm of Mark War. A lot of people complain about the fact that he's, you know, he makes a lot of 60s, 70s, and then he gets out. But for me, I love watching Mark War because he's always taking the bowlers on. He does it in such elegant fashion. And then he gets out. It's a bit like the charm of Dougie Walters. People came to the cricket ground because they weren't sure whether this was going to be the day. But they always came because it might be the day. And they wanted to be there and say, I saw Doug Walters. Or, and in Mark War's case, I saw Mark War the day that he did such and such. Eight fours now for Mark War. He's the sort of bloke that we'd all even if uh, you'd watched thousands of games of cricket, he's the sort of player that you go and watch. Um, you go and watch whenever he played. Champagne batsman, I mean the most wonderful, easy player to watch. Um, seems to have more talent than his brother. And uh, certainly from my point of view, I just thought from day one he could play any shot in the book. That could be it. That will be it. Square cut for four. Mark Wall brings up his 18th Test Match 100. Well played. Ah! Yep. Well played. Watch, say, Mark War, and uh, he seems to have a little bit more time than the rest of the guys to, to play his shots, and on some occasions. And that can be uh, a problem because uh, he, in, he intends to invent a shot because he's got that extra little split second up his sleeve and he gets himself into a little bit of trouble on occasions. But I think I'd rather have that extra little bit of time than not have it. There it is, the curve innings. He's one of the few blokes that I could say, I'd be happy just sitting there watching him field. I just love the way that Mark Waugh fields. To the air, that's out. Very well caught, Mark Waugh. That second slip, that was an excellent catch. Oh, great catch, Mark Waugh again. Every time the ball's hit at Mark Waugh, it goes bang, right in the middle of his hand. Unbelievable. What a beauty! What an absolute ripper! Oh, it's got him! What a catch! They went into their shell, they paid the penalty, that's a gem, that's a classic. Mark Ward takes the catch. A brilliant catcher. I mean, I don't think that I've ever seen anyone better in the slip cordon than, uh, than Mark Ward. And um, at the end of the day, when you put those two together, you then have a package that says, uh, imagine uh, being a captain and having the War Brothers in your side. It's just uh, quite incredible.